But there's all sorts of gear and gadgets out there that will basically make your van life easier. Stuff that will make jobs easier on the roads because you don't have 240 hook up. Sometimes you need small things that just get into them little holes. That, and that's what she said. Many of you know that van life and having a van, it involves wiring sometimes. And it involves doing wiring properly. Um, my idea of doing wiring properly is to do soldering. So... But this is it. It's a funky little thing. And it comes with all these gadgets. That's a good bit of kit. Once it's filled up, there is a little switch underneath, right there. Now, what this switch does is this allows your igniter in the back to basically self-ignite the torch. So what you need to do is you need to push your switch over to there, then you can ignite the flame. If you let go, it just stops. So how do you keep it on? Well, on the side there is a lock button. So if you push your switch over, ignite it, and then push your switch there to lock, you can let go of the back button and you've got a flame. Now, on the other side, you have this. This is, obviously, pretty simple, your power output. The percentage of gas that's going to go into the chamber, you can turn it right down, and you'll see that going down now. Or you can turn it right up. So it's like, flame off, Flame on! Flame on. Flame on! I don't know why I'm doing my stupid accents, but there you go. Also comes with this handy little thing to fit on the very bottom. It just pushes on, so you can then put it onto a surface. Now, let's have a look what's inside the box. Okay, so inside the box when you open it, obviously that's the box there. It locks. It's nice. Lovely sticker, by the way. It's a good durable box. But inside the box, when you first open it, you will first of all get one of these, which is a voucher that entitles you to an extra two years warranty. So you can get two extra years warranty just by filling this in. That's good. We don't need it. So inside the box, you get, obviously, your torch. You get your foot that goes on your torch for when you're soldering and you want to put it down for times like that. You get a small little tray for when you're doing soldering. A bit of water in there, you can tap your end of your soldering iron, keeps it clean. That sits in there. You get multiple tools. Now, there is one important tool, which is this one. That is the connecting head that will go to this so you can attach all the other pieces. It does come with two tiny little spanners which were made for hobbits or small horns. That basically just undoes them, but to be honest with you, they're not that hard. So this tip will be your soldering tip for doing soldering jobs and things like that. But this is the most important piece. Now, the end of your actual torch will screw off. Once you've screwed it off, this piece drops inside. Then you can screw your torch back on. Now when you screw your torch back on, make sure the holes line up so they're not covering it like that. Make sure the 
so it's you get a nice steady airflow. Also, this is a plastic ring. Don't go crazy screwing this tight. Just nip it up and you're done. Now, on the end of this, we can then attach all sorts. There is a blade. There is a smaller chisel-like soldering iron. There is also a flat circuit soldering iron one for doing the small soldering parts. Then there is a smaller blowtorch. Now, this one comes with another attachment. So, if we screw this one on, and we get a smaller blowtorch attachment, you then can slide this piece on which is a heat deflector. Now, the heat deflector is really good because if you look at the shape, when you are doing any type of wiring and you want to fit tubing that goes over the cables to keep them safe, that is the perfect size just to go over the, the tubing in there and run it through and along so you're not burning anything. You can basically put that up against a wall or anything if you've got a cable here and you can run it up and down and heat shrink the actual cables. So that, to me, is absolutely brilliant idea. It's a really good idea. But it's the same idea when you are doing soldering or when you're doing any other jobs. You just basically turn the switch, turn it on, lock it. You will see the elements heating up inside so you know it's on. You can see in there, it's getting red hot. And then obviously you can use the amount of gas that you want to put through and you will see it glowing up. Now, the heat torch goes on the end. I'm not going to put it on now because I'll probably burn my fingers and we don't want that happening. Some people might do, I personally don't. So as you can see, it gets really hot. It gets smoking hot. Then to turn it off, just unlock it and your clip will come all the way over there, just like that. And that unit is now safe to just put down somewhere. Let it cool off. Obviously these are gonna be red hot now, so you can't attach many things to it while the actual unit is red hot. So I think this little item here, the Lexivon torch, is an essential tool that you need in a van for all sorts of jobs, not just wiring. I mean, it's got a flame on it. You can heat nuts up, undo nuts, undo bolts, things like that. I mean, you can even kinda do creme brulee if you want. It's entirely up to you, but it's a good, Bit of kit. It's solid, it's durable, comes with a two year warranty. It's $29.99. That's in the UK on Amazon. I'll leave links in the description. They are Amazon affiliate links, so I will get a small percentage, but that comes out at no cost to you. Just gives me a bit of a kickback for suggesting it. If you've enjoyed the video, if you've liked the video, if you've learned something, please subscribe. It's free. It's like down there, it costs nothing to do. Share the video out. This can be used in all sorts of things, not just van life, everyday life as well. I mean, I wouldn't go carrying one round, would you? But you know, you can use it in the house, caravans. You can use it all over the place. Put it in your toolbox. The ideal thing for $29.99, this little bad boy is a good buy. It's a star buy and it's durable as well. Give us a thumbs up, leave us some comments in the comment section below. There's loads of different people doing these types of things. I have personally got two or three of them, but I think this one is the best up to now, just because of the easy use, the fact that you can lock it on, it's got a good flame, it's self-igniting as well, which I do like, that you can just click a button and you are lit, you lock it off and you're good to go. You can put it down with the leg on, and you can solder using two hands. 
kind of makes life a little bit easier. And until the next video, whatever you do, do it well.